Hey, this is Art. I'm N0EX. I'm going to show you another video today about radio direction finding. You may have seen a previous video of mine where I demonstrated the NZ1J RDF device, uh, portable, handheld operation with an, with an antenna array like this. Today we're going to talk about some options for doing radio direction finding from a vehicle. So you got a couple of options. You can put an array like this out the window or out the moonroof and have somebody turn it as you drive. You can put a Doppler on, uh, you can put a beam on. But uh, what if you're by yourself? If you're by yourself, you probably don't want to be caught sticking your hand out the window turning this. Uh, that would be driving distracted. So you can go Doppler, so which would be an array of four antennas on the roof, and they're a little pricey. Or you can use this box again in your vehicle with two mag mounts on the roof. Now, how you're turning your antennas is obviously uh, where your car is pointed when you're driving down the road. But it is possible to use this uh, RDF device and find out whether you're going pretty much at the transmitter or whether the transmitter is mainly to your left and to your right. So if you're by yourself, this is a great low cost option on how to RDF in a vehicle. So let's do some on the road demos. So let me show you a little bit closer on how I have this radio direction finder mounted in the car. It's actually just uh, attached with some Velcro here on the front console. Uh, the two antennas, the two mag mounts are the ones shown in blue. They go up to the mag mounts on the roof, of course. The center coaxial connection goes to the receiver. The audio from the receiver is this one on the right. Uh, this is actually version C of this box that I've got, and the uh, center connection is actually audio out to a headphone or an earphone, and then the power is on the left. So pretty simple setup, pretty small box, easy to put in the car. Okay, right now we're listening to uh, NOAA Weather Radio out of St. Paul, Minnesota. It's a little bit to the left of forward of us, and you're going to see, and you're going to see most of the time the light is to the left. When you go slowly around this curve coming up here, uh, we're going to watch the uh, LED kind of go to the middle as we get facing the transmitter. There we are. So we're part way through the curve here, and uh, we're facing the green and the green LED now. As we continue through the curve, you're going to see, of course, that the lights on the right-hand side are going to be on more often, indicating that the transmitter is to the right of us. Okay, we're going down the road again. We're getting a little indication that the transmitter is off to our right, mostly flashing on the right. We're going to take this curve to the right. And we're going to watch what the LEDs tell us. So as we turn to the right, it's going to come in a little bit. We're going to get more green. And as we continue through the curve, now we're going to be pretty much facing the transmitter. And as we continue through the curve, it's probably going to slide off a little bit, indicating more on the left-hand side, as it did. Again, this is another... Uh, NOAA red radio station, we're, uh, weather radio station that we're listening to. Okay, now we're gonna, now we have the transmitter, it looks like it's off to the left somewhat. We're gonna make this left hand turn. I'm gonna show you what it's like when the transmitter is actually behind us. We're gonna make this left hand turn and we're gonna come around here and we're gonna see as we straighten out that it's actually indicating that the transmitter is even more off to the left that we really didn't turn into it so continue around this curve up here a little bit and the transmitter is still off to the left so so what actually was happening back there is the transmitter was behind us so what happens then if you make a left hand turn you think it's to your left and you make a left hand turn it's still showing left just continue to make a left hand turn always turn towards where the lights are flashing you know yellowish or green yellow or red and then you're gonna get back pointing to the transmitter all right sometimes when things get a little confusing you need to pull into a parking lot and do a big circle and just try and 
uh, get your bearings again. Now you see the LEDs are flashing on the left. We're going to do a circle to the left here. It's hard for you to watch kind of what we're doing here, but we're going to do a big circle and probably getting some reflections from this building on our right now, but we're getting a little bit more green and now we're probably facing it because as we continue turning our left, the LEDs are going to go to our right. So now we've essentially verified the exact direction uh, that our transmitter is. All right, I hope those clips gave you a pretty good uh, indicator of, of how you can use the uh, NZ1J RDF box in a mobile environment. Again, I think this is a really good answer for both portable and mobile use, especially if you are mobile by yourself. I mean, you, you just can't, you can't control a beam and look at the signal strength and drive your car down the road at the same time. It's just not going to work. And you probably don't want to be grabbing your beam or your tape measure beam and getting stopping and getting out of your car, taking the bearing and get back in. This uh, will allow you to just keep on rolling down the road, letting you know whether the, the transmitter is pretty much ahead of you or if it's sliding off to the left or right. So I think this is a, a pretty good answer. So a couple of hints, practice. Whether you get whether you get this box or a Doppler or whatever equipment you're using, practice with it. Practice with it um, out in your yard. Practice with a friend. Practice during the two meter net night and try and find the guy who's running the net. Practice, try and find that local National Weather Service transmitter. Uh, that's how you're gonna, that's how you're gonna figure these things out and get experience with it and learn how to decipher what it's telling you. Um, this box puts out a little tone as it switches back and forth between those antennas. You didn't hear it on the video, but that tone's going to help you decipher maybe when it's probably getting a, a clean signal or when it might be getting a, 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 a cruddy, noisy signal that's probably multipath. And then you can decide maybe, you know, not worry about what it's flashing right then. So. It's, it's going to help you. That tone's going to help you decide whether you're getting a good, clean signal or not. And, and uh, deciphering that comes with, you know, experience and practice. So, again, whatever equipment you use, practice with it. I'd like to see more people doing RDF. I'd like to see more people, you know, succeeding with and having fun with radio direction finding. So, if you want more information, go to uh, my QRZ.com webpage. So, type in QRZ.com and then type in my call sign N0EX in the upper left-hand corner. And there you'll find more information on this box, uh, links to more videos, uh, links to the NZ1J original video, um, my contact information, email, uh, availability if you want to order some of these boxes. Um, so go there, find out more. Um, I, I thank you for watching. Uh, sorry the video got a little long, but wanted to you know give you as much information as I could about about how you may be able to use this box. So again, comment, um, like, share. I really appreciate you uh, hanging in there, listening, and watching this long. Thanks.